What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Griddle Grub. Today we are going to do something I've never done. I've uh, only seen it like once or twice on some videos that I've watched a while back. Meatloaf Burger. And I mean from what I saw, get out of here flies. Man, it's that time of year. Killing me. So we're going to start off with some bacon. We got some cheese. We got sesame seed brioche bun. We got these uh, patties, these smash patties we're going to do. And... You know what? Let's just get going on some bacon. How about that? And then we'll do a cutaway. I did record how I made the patties. So yeah, let's just go ahead and dive into that. And yeah, we'll get this going. All right, so here's what we got. We got all the ingredients right here. We got an egg, got seasoning. That's oregano, cayenne pepper, garlic, uh, garlic powder, uh, pepper, and salt. That's everything in there. Then we got some uh, half a cup of crackers. We got half a cup of diced up onion, the meat, and Worcester sauce. There's the egg. Let's grab the we'll do the sauce next. I don't want to get egg all over the stuff. So we're going to put about two, about two tablespoons of that in there. We're going to give it a quick whisk. All right. We're going to throw all the seasonings in here. Get that turned up nicely. get it mixed up real good uh, let's get the meat in here this is one pound of ground chuck just plop you right in here I'm done with you got the crackers got the onion and we mix all right so once you got it all mixed up Pull off some, just like so. Boom. Burger. Alright, so that's how we made the patties. I love all these onions in there. I think that's going to be really good like that uh, Oklahoma onion burger we just did. Fry them up real good in there. It's gonna be good. I know it. Real good seasoning in there. Let's see how we're doing on these. Oh yeah, nice and golden. All right, you know what we're gonna do is just move these over. Boom, we're gonna keep those right there. And we're gonna smash the patties right here in the bacon grease. Here goes the patties right here. These things are gonna cook up real good. Man, the smells that are coming off this thing are incredible right now. Whew. Right there, let's get this thing. It's gonna be hot. Get you in the garbage. So, I've seen people uh, wrap their meatloaves in bacon. So, that's why I decided to throw bacon on my burger. Make sure we're staying good with that. Oh, baby, we are. Alright, so these are good. These are gonna cook up just fine. We're gonna flip them. I'm gonna throw cheese on mine. My wife doesn't want cheese. So, yeah, I mean, we're getting there. We're getting close. Yep, set her up. Man, these are looking so good. Throw cheese on that one. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw two pieces of bacon. 
And let's do this one. Ooh, that got hot. Boom. Bacon, I'm gonna throw cheese on top of that. Let that cheese melt, hold everything together. Man, we are just about there. And I know um, I forgot to put ketchup in the, uh, the patties. So I'm just going to put ketchup on the burger now, which I wasn't going to do before. But, you know, some people cook their meatloafs with ketchup on top of it and everything. So, yeah, it's what it is. It's going to be delicious. All right, so we got some ketchup on the bottom there. Set that aside. Look at these amazing burgers right here. This is going to be so good. I'm so excited. All right, we're going to put you right on top of you. Oh, look at all that goodness right there. All right, let's get this. Do the old pinch and pull. All right, we're ready to dive into this. This looks so good. Oh, so easy, just like the Oklahoma burger. I mean, pretty common ingredients. Nothing crazy about it, just good, clean fun. Didn't get any bacon in that bite. Next time, put three pieces of just straight across instead of doing the crisscross. But that's really good. Cheese, nice and creamy, like always. Go with that American cheese. Really good flavor. Got a nice uh, flavor from those caramelized onions. Those are good. You can definitely, I got a hint of that cayenne pepper. I mean, the taste of this is really, really good. Get some bacon. I know you heard that. Nice crunch on that bacon. Mmm. Perfect. It's a good burger. I forget the guy's name who recommended this, but I'm sorry, but I'm glad you did because this is a good burger. I know the wife is going to like this. So that's all I got. I appreciate you guys coming along. Uh, smash that thumbs up if you liked the video. Let me know if there's something you want me to cook. Let me know if you got some more burger recommendations. I already have uh, the next three planned out for sure. So let me know if you got anything else. Appreciate it. Thanks. We'll see you on the next one.